Hi fellow builders and welcome to Tune Art. Today we will do unboxing, straight build and review to this um excuse me, not this one. Okay, to this HG1 is the 144 after colony Gundam Heavy Arms. Before we start, just want to share you that I got this cool kit to our friendly hobby shop, Hobby Ali. So if you want to have this or other Plamo items, just visit their website or PM them in their Facebook. And alright, oh yes, my favorite Gundam of all. The reason why I hooked in the Gundam or the Gunpla world. This is the high grade 1 is to 144 scale after colony. XXG01H Gundam Heavy Arms From the Gundam series June Mobile Report Gundam W Manufactured by Bandai Recently released last October 2020 Gundam Heavy Arms was designed for use in the first Operation Meteor Plan which involved a colony drop and subsequent extinction level event on Earth Gundam Heavy Arms, along with its four companion mobile suits, was to be used to control the ensuing chaos. This Gundam was developed by Dr. S and specializes in firefights due to being equipped with a beam gatling gun, chest gatling guns, and micro-missiles. The Gundam design teams, however, did not want their creations used as weapon of mass murder and decided to wage the war for colony independence in their own way. Coming up with a new plan for Operation Meteor. The original Crow Barton was killed and an anonymous young mobile suit mechanic took over as the pilot of the Gundam Heavy Arms, adapting the name of its former pilot. And this character story is very interesting for me, but I'm much interested and excited to open this box. So let's proceed with the unboxing.
the physical view of the kit. Its height is about 5 inches tall with a kit weight of 47 grams. And aside from the 2020 runners, they also use recycled runners such as from 2019 runners. I think this uh, these runners came from Sandra. PC parts were also recycled and uh, from the issued from 2013. For the articulation, heads move 360 turns. upward a bit and downward shoulders can turn 360 can raise the arm sideward a bit like this arms also can rotate 360 degrees elbow bend up to this point torso bend up to this point can rotate 360 degrees front skirt can flip up to this point side skirt flip up to this point only and one of the feature of this kit is this back skirt with this kind of flipping feature and aside from that it also helps the bending formation of this kit such like this skirt can also swivel up to this point legs can raise 90 degrees and since the back skirt also flip, it can also raise the legs 90 degrees as well. Can also turn around 360 degrees. Knees can bend up to this point. Feet is ball jointed and can rotate 360 around and can swivel side by side up to this point. Can also fold like this. This kit is really solid and awesome, but some parts here are fragile. Please do extra care with these antennas. They are easy to break. Usually, these C connectors are very fragile, such as this one, this one, and this one. This is the common problem of the kit like heavy arms. And I suggest that do not fully mount them if you are planning to repaint or customize this kit. And here is my score to sum up the reviews. Color got 4.8, ease of assembling is 4.7, articulation is 4.8, kit stability is also 4.8, kit presentation is 5.0, stickers and decals 4.0, parts intact 5.0, with an overall score of 4.7 for this kit. Personally, I'm very happy to have this kit. Like I said, this is my childhood favorite Gunpla. The design of these heavy arms is absolutely fantastic. 
For the Gundam W fans out there, this is definitely a must-have. And did you know that the armaments of heavy arms is equivalent to 3 to 5 battleships? And of the 5 Operation Meteor Gundams, heavy arms is the only one that was never damaged badly enough to be disabled or captured. At isa na naman po gunpla alaman na naman ang hatid sa inyo ng June R, the hobby channel that you can trust. And mission complete, I have my heavy arms and now waiting for the death site to release. <laughs> hey, make sure to finish these kits before you decide to buy again. And this is the high grade 1 is to 144 after colony Gundam Heavy Arms. Until next time here in Chun R. Just build more and build up. And let's do some acknowledgements. Thank you for the newly subscribers, the Sausage Hands, Jed Luciano, and a Darkness Coming Gaming. Thank you for subscribing. Let's read some comments from Johnny Pops. Wah! Rami nyo na nag-review nito, Sir Hatron. Nalalason ako. Haha, PTV, si Family here. Yay! So this is from the comment from the last post of uh, Mini Action Voltage 5. So from Johnny Pops. Yes, oh, it's true that uh, many uh, already uh, made a review to this Mini Action figure of Voltage 5. I think you're the next one to do a review on it. From Professor Jason X. Ganda. Nakakalason po, sir. Hehe. <laughs> well, Professor Jason X, it's true. And also, I'm hoping to see you to have this uh, mini action figure kit. From Silent Toy Collector. Nakakatemp itong figure na ito. Dami kong nakikitang ganito sa YouTube. Ha ha ha. Hashtag PTVC Again from the comment of Mini Action Voltage 5 Thank you Silent Toy Collector Yes, definitely uh, This uh, Mini Action figure is a must have Just take a try And see for yourself From Jed, Lu uh, from Jed Luciano Sorry for the error word Astig naman nung pag-assemble May sounds pa talaga Sir, good review Well, thank you Jed Luciano I'm glad that you like uh, how I present the content and I will also try my best to provide much better uh, graphics for your viewing purposes from the mobile suit hanger Ak poisonous congratulations on your new sponsor well thank you the mobile suit hanger yes indeed this mini action figure of all this vibe is very poisonous and looking forward to see it in your cabinet as well well as for the uh, sponsor that's from the Crix Dolls product uh, named Dalanghita Juice well I, I'm going to give you a shot of glass of it if we're going to meet again <laughs> and many thanks to these people 